what's the point? No, seriously, what's the point? We're at uh, Sainsbury's and they offer nectar points on EV charging. Quite amazing, something for nothing at last. But this is really interesting one. This is one of their smart charge locations. They have eight bays. Uh, they're the Kim Power Chargers, 150 kilowatts for 400 volt architecture, 300 kilowatts for 800. And it's packed. When we arrived, there was a Hyundai Ionic 5 in there. It was virtually full. And it's 72 pence a kilowatt hour. So that raises the question, why is this one so full when InstaVault and GridServe hubs are so empty. They must be wondering what is going on because some of them, in spite of drop prices, they still can't get people in. The answer might surprise you. I'm Dave, this is Dave Takes It On. Frosted Yards Vouch. Now, if you're new to the channel, you'll have no idea what I'm talking about. If you're regular, you've probably got a very good idea. Stick around to the end, you'll find out they're very relevant. It's only a short while later, and what we've got now, oh, we're losing another one. I was going to say we're down to half, but we're just losing the Nissan Leaf as well. So we're down to three cars. But three cars out of eight is still a respectable number of cars charging at this particular time. We have been talking with a couple of the guys from Yorkshire Water. Uh, they simply have an RFID card. Uh, they're not aware of the rate they pay. Uh, it's just they're given the card. They want to charge, come here. Uh, and we've asked them how they like it. Uh, that one's a committed petrol head, loves his petrol car for home, but is quite happy with the answers. It's rather nippy. And uh, just once he reported uh, that he was running low on power and he still had some calls to make. So um, that's more a reflection on these, um, these Nissans. They don't have such tremendous range. Uh, they're about 150 miles it's bordering on uh, what you actually need. So uh, the other one apparently is a bigger battery and that actually has a slightly bigger range. So don't know why they've got the difference. But it's really interesting that this is really being used. And yet we went to Manor Farm, which was just on the outskirts of Liverpool with Osprey 16, uh, 16 chargers, same Kempower chargers. Absolutely nothing there. We were there for over an hour filming and not a single car came in and charged. And we watch online, we do monitor usage. So we can look either on the apps or online on the website, and we can find out how many cars are charged at any one time. And we look at people like Instavolt, and they're really suffering at the moment in that they've just opened up the bay, the, uh, the hub in uh, Winchester, and that's 44 bays. And it's never had, to my knowledge, more than 20 cars there. I think I've only ever seen 11 on one occasion. And it really is. And so they very quickly uh, brought out a summer discount. A summer discount now, instead of 87p, which is the normal price, uh, they're actually charging 54 pence day and night. Uh, just pull up uh, and that's it, 54 pence. And still they're not busy. And yet here, 72 pence. And while we've been here less than half an hour, we've had about eight cars here, pull in, pull out, charge. So it really does make people wonder what is going on. Now, to be fair, there are only two cars charging at the moment. Both of those are actually works cars. There's a Yorkshire Water one, there's a Royal Mail one. And without those works vehicles, this bay would be empty. However, while we have been here, there was another Yorkshire Water and another Royal Mail van actually charging. And we've had about four other cars. We had a BMW. Uh, IX, we had a Hyundai uh, and a Nissan Leaf, and they were all charging here. That might give a clue as to what's going on because two of them actually sat in the cars and ate. So I suspect part of the success of this is down to the location and the convenience. In other words, if you're gonna go in there and buy some lunch, if you're out on the road, you might want to sit and eat it in your car rather than sit in a, in a restaurant. Uh, when I was a rep on the road, I spent many an hour in my car having lunches. Uh, so you nip in there, you pick up your sandwich and your, your meal deal, your Coke or whatever you're having, come out to your car, it's charging, you sit and have your lunch. You don't do a full 100% charge or 20, or 20 to 80 percent it's just while you're having your lunch somewhere convenient to park and you can add a few miles or dozens of miles of range while you're here so there's that 
And I think really that's summing it up. Uh, some of the hubs we go to, they're a bit out of the way, they're in the middle of nowhere. It's obviously got a bit of cheap land somewhere. And so to get to one of those, you have to drive out of your way. First of all, you're out of your way, but secondly, when you get there, you don't have supermarkets with meal deals. You're gonna to have to take whatever's there, which is usually a Starbucks or a Costa or something on those lines or a McDonald's. Uh, and there, your choice is very limited. So this offers something that maybe the others don't. So does the popularity of these come down to works vehicles? For example, Chester East at Gridsurf, we quite regularly see MyTech vans there. These are builders. Um, and uh, they have loads and loads of vans all throughout the country. So again, the same sort of deal. Unfortunately, there's probably not as many of them as there are Royal Mail vans. Uh, so it really comes down to these are being underutilized but some of them, Sainsbury's, seem to have hit a sweet spot and got better utilisation than an awful lot of CPOs that we go and visit. So, lovely and prominently displayed, and now only 72 pence. Well, 72 pence, uh, we looked in the pricing video for July, and 72 pence is at the competitive end of a bit on the dear side. Uh, so, yeah, we'd, it's where we'd expect the supermarkets to be. But you do get nectar points on every charge and that's really important because it's just all money it's free isn't it if you've got a nectar card get your points and then you can go and spend them in the supermarket now a couple of other things they have an rfid spot there and that's for the rfid cards which is uh, these are like loyalty cards uh, you can apply to smart charge or electroverse is another one the other thing we have noticed with the kempower units is they've dropped the um, the uh, contactless terminal down to a much more accessible i use that word wisely uh, if you are less able maybe in a wheelchair then it's really easy to get up to this whereas if it's up here it might be a struggle they've also dropped these cables down and the plugs they're a little bit more uh, accessible a little bit easier to reach so you can pull your car up really close you get your wheelchair in the plug is really easy to get out and your contactless is there uh, even if you're using the RFID still not that high up so it makes them much easier to use the thing we notice here is these are beautiful wide bays and you don't often get this grid server a big victim of this they will put the bays very close together each of these has got a walkway between them each bay so there isn't such a thing here as a disabled bay or a less able bay every one is potentially fine for wheelchair pram pushchair or whatever it is and that's a really nice touch because often if it's a crowded place and someone is already using the disabled bay um, and you are disabled yourself it might mean you have to wait here each of the bays is exactly equal so any of them could be classed as disabled or ordinary and that's why they're all the same color now we do know accessibility is an issue with many of our viewers we do read the comments and we get an awful lot of comments about what i was talking about not bays not being wide enough so what we'd like to do is hear from you are we covering this properly are we covering everything that affects you as someone with limited ability when you come to charge your ev here but we'd like to go one further if there's anyone in the northwest who is disabled or has limited ability uh, and wouldn't mind being on one of our videos it'd be great for us to go out with them on a charging session and for them to point out to us in real time what they're looking for out of a charger versus what I think they may be looking for. So if you want to get in touch uh, and if we've got anyone local and we can find the time uh, we'll do a little uh, video trip for them. The Sainsbury's are trying to cater for everyone like they do with their supermarkets. So here you will find Chadamo, uh, just the one bay I'm afraid right at the end but we've got a leaf charging there as well. So they cater for everyone. We've got seven bays of CCS2, one bay of Chadamo. Uh, they're not going to be the busiest, so I wouldn't imagine you have a queue just having that one bay. Probably adequate. Frosted Yards Vouch. I said I'd get back to them. Now, all that is, is a really neat way of locating this particular uh, charging location. They produced an app and it's called What Three Words? W3W. Uh, it's available on all the, uh, the app stores, uh, Apple and Google and everyone. And once you've loaded it, 
they break the whole of the country down into small sections. They're about three by three meters. Uh, so if I was standing over by the Royal Mail van, it would be a different section, different segment. And for each segment in the whole of the UK, they've allocated three words. And they're different for every section, obviously. They just make you wonder, there must be millions and millions of these little three meter by three meter sections. And yet you can just do three words and not repeat in any of them. But it will identify the spot I am standing on right now. 72 pence, not exciting. Nectar points, ah, it's something for nothing. But would you travel here specifically just to get your nectar points? It'd be interesting to find out what motivates people to go to specific charging locations. So thanks very much for watching. If you enjoyed this, click the like button. If you'd like to see more, please subscribe. I'm Dave.